to my channel, oh, the sun. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Krogal, and it is the last one, friends. It's, it's the last installment. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the word installment and in series. It's the last installment of this keto reboot <laughs> series. Makes me sound like so professional, like like a big YouTuber. Um, this is it. This is my last keto reboot video today. I committed to doing weekly. Um, kind of check-ins, like how's keto going, how's my weight, all that jazz. Um, I committed to doing these weekly recaps up until I go on vacation, and I'm going on vacation in four days. Today's Thursday, we leave Monday, and um, so so this is it, friends. Okay, I, I repositioned myself because <laughs> that sun is driving me nuts. Um, so how I'm going to kind of structure this video is the usual. I'm going to chat about my week. How was my water intake? How was my working out? How was my eating? And then um, I want to chat a little bit about like my mentality going on vacation and what I plan to do when we get back. Okay, so food this week um, and just like eating in general. I um, did really good this week up until yesterday um so yesterday for lunch we ended up getting lunch at like a local sandwich place and um i had a it was a turkey turkey what was it a turkey blt i think um so it was like roasted turkey um lettuce tomato bacon and they have like a special sauce they put on there um delicious bread the sandwiches are huge so cernan cernan and i split one um, and then I got chips and then we got potato salad. <laughs> so it was quite a carb indulgence yesterday. Honestly, it was just a moment of weakness and I don't have those very often. Um, but he asked if I wanted to get lunch and then I was like, um, I don't know. You know, I was thinking about various places we could get something keto friendly. Like maybe we could get Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that. But then he started rattling off just like restaurants and as soon as he said the sandwich place, I was like, oh my God, that sounds so good. So that was my one slip up. I would definitely call it a slip up because it wasn't planned. Y'all know I like my my planned off plan meals. Um, yesterday was literally like, yeah, that sounds good, great. Get me it. <laughs> so that was my one slip up for the week. Other than that, it did really well when it came to eating. Um, Frankly, my mind, I've mentioned this in other videos, has been like vacation, 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 like rounding everything up, making sure all my ducks are in a row, um, you know, buying like last minute things that we needed to purchase. Um, so my focus on food really hasn't been um, that uh, intense, which for me is a good thing. Like I'm just more on autopilot and just eating what I know fits in with my meal plan, what fits in with my macros, again, minus minus yesterday for lunch. So eating wise, I still think like this week was a win, even with with the uh, <laughs> the sandwich mishap yesterday. Um, working out, I including today, because I do plan on working out today, hence <laughs> no shower yet, no makeup, because it's like we're running to Target and then I have so much stuff to do around here and I'm gonna do a workout. It's like, what's the point? So including today, normally I, I do it out of eight days because it's Friday to Friday, but I'm filming this on Thursday. So out of seven days, I worked out five days. Four of those being Peloton rides, one being a day at SeaWorld. I've mentioned this before, but usually we don't cover enough ground at SeaWorld um, to like have it really count as working out. The zoo easily counts as working out. It's constant hills. There's so much ground to cover um, that it definitely qualifies as a workout. SeaWorld, not so much. It's very flat, not as big, but um, their rides are open there now. And so we, the last two times we've gone, we've spent almost all day there. Um, and cause it's, it's a whole nother, you know, it's a whole nother park now. Um, whole other park now because it's not just the animal exhibits it's the rides so um that day definitely qualified as like i burned some energy um so i'm proud of myself on that front when it comes to water there's only one day this week that i did not drink my my uh water that was earlier in the week i think that was like monday no monday i filmed my, my what i eat in a day so it must have been tuesday um i just didn't didn't get through all of it i think i had like 20 ounces left i try to drink 60 a day if you're new around here um 
so i mean all in all a good week i got on the scale this morning i hadn't weighed myself all week i'm really really preferring that this is what the second or third week i've done that where i'm not weighing every day i'm not getting on it every day i'm literally doing it once a week um and i'm really enjoying that just like mentally um it, it makes me get a little caught less caught up caught up in the number um so i did get on the scale this morning and i'm up, i'm up 0.4 from last week um, so last week I was 143.6 and this week I'm 144 on the dot so I don't really think I mean I guess I could be retaining some water weight from like the sandwich yesterday especially like the chips because they were really salty um, but I honestly think right now I'm just at a stall I feel like the last three weeks four weeks it's been like up 0.4 down 0.6 there was a week where i lost a pound but i do kind of feel like i'm in a stall right now and um so i almost think that going on vacation indulging in whatever i want to indulge in and then getting back on the horse when we come home I feel like that's gonna work in my favor that's when i tend to drop the most weight when i'm like eating whatever i want eating whatever i want eating whatever i want get back to strict keto um the pounds start just falling off and i haven't gained I mean, and they stay off like i haven't gained i'm still down from when i started this whole keto journey in february i'm still down eight pounds no 10 pounds yeah because i was 154 and now i'm 144 10 pounds so um so let's talk about that i guess let's talk about vacation and kind of um we'll just roll right into my plans post vacation so my goal for vacation i think i've mentioned this one other time but my goal is to completely and fully enjoy myself this is a huge vacation it's <laughs> cernan's calling it he's like it, it feels like our first adult vacation even though we've been on plenty of vacations before like together and as adults this one just feels like extra special and like extra kind of bougie and so i am going to eat whatever i want and drink whatever i want so kind of the one thing that i i'm gonna have in the back of my mind while we are on this trip is i don't want to overeat that's like my main kind of food would you call it a goal i guess goal or like one kind of food stipulation that i'm gonna have because i am gonna be eating whatever i want um i just don't want to overeat i don't have a problem with binge eating i don't really have um i don't really have issues like serious issues eating like copious amounts of food or anything but what i can definitely do is overeat and be full to the point of being uncomfortable and i don't want to do that for two reasons the first being that i don't care what's causing it i don't want to be uncomfortable at all let alone on a vacation right so that's kind of number one number two my progress is already going to be derailed because i am you know for eight days i'm going to be eating you know drinking all of the fancy cocktails and eating all of the delicious hawaiian food for eight days so I'm well aware that I'm going to come back and my weight's going to be up. Why make it be more up than it needs to be, right? I'm already allowing myself to indulge. I don't need to go one step further, right? So that's kind of like really the only um, <laughs> asterisk, if you will, Hawaii trip. Asterisk, um, don't overeat. That's really like the only um, kind of food provision, provision I'm giving myself. Other than that, pfft. I don't <laughs> I don't care I'm living it up now when we get back from vac vacation that's <laughs> what was about to come out of my mouth I don't know why when we come back from vacation here's my thought process which I did mention a little bit in the last reboot video I am NOT going to weigh myself when we first come back the day after we get back we get back Monday so starting Tuesday I'm gonna go back to keto and then on Friday, I'm going to weigh myself. Um, I'm going to stick with every Friday doing a weigh-in. Um, and then I'm going to go from there. My, I want to hit goal. I want to hit goal and I feel like, I'm sure it's not the only way, but in my eyes, just the success that I've had with keto and um, both times that I've done it, um, it's the... Keto is a way that I know that I'm successful. So I'm going to stick with keto until I get down to 140 um, and then probably pivot from there. I'm already starting to get bored with food options. 
Um, I, I've been really thinking about going low carb again, but doing like whole food low carb. So like, you know, if I'm not really a big fruit person, but like if I want to eat fruit, eat the fruit. If I want to have potatoes, have the potatoes. If I want to have, um, I don't know, just like eat a bagged salad and not worry about how many carbs are in it. Um, you know, drink a kombucha every now and then, those type of things. Um, I, it's a slippery slope for me when I, you know, want to eat lower carb and then start buying like, you know, crackers and chips. Even though a serving size might fit in perfectly with my, with my lower carb macros, um, sometimes that that sends me kind of spiraling and then i just want all the carbs and all the chips and all the crackers and all the cookies and you know for me it's really like the process stuff that um i don't want to use the word triggering but that that could could lead me down that road so um i think that's gonna be my plan and then continue continuing to use my notebook even once i do transition to low carb you know okay i'm gonna do 80 carbs a day 80 net carbs a day I'm gonna track it because that's something I didn't do last time. I was just like, yeah, I'm I'm allowing myself 100 net carbs, and then I would just kind of like mentally track it. Sometimes use my app, but y'all know that notebook has changed my life, and so that's that's my tentative plan. Lord knows when that's gonna happen because I want to stay on keto. I want to stay on keto to like until I get to 140. Um, even if that means doing what I did before, which was my 30 days of um no alcohol, working out, and keto. Maybe I'll do that again. Um, for me, it's always this last five, 10, what are we at now, four pounds, that's the hardest to get off um, for me. I'm not speaking for other people, for me. It's that last, ugh, it's just so hard. And so that's my plan, friends. I'm all ears. If you guys have suggestions maybe as to what I should do when I get back, honestly, I feel like I'm gonna be ready to fully throw myself into a whole 30 day uh, rigmarole again because when I did that the first time back in February, we had just gotten back from, from a vacation and I was just like feeling so sluggish and so gross. And I came off of like four days of pretty much eating whatever, drinking whatever, and this is gonna be eight days. So I'm curious if I'll have that same mentality. Now this vacation is a lot different because it's definitely like more relaxing um, so who knows? I might be like, no, not keto life, <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe I'll have that same fire under my butt and I'll want to, want to do that again. So, um, I'm not going to continue to do weekly updates. Um, so if you're, if you're still curious in kind of this journey, you're going to have to tune into my, what I eat in a day videos, um, and kind of get, get the dirt there. So that's it friends. Um, I am really proud of myself for kind of doing this like series leading up to vacation because initially I wasn't going to do it. Um, so I'm just happy that I was, I was pretty consistent. <laughs> like, I mean, I definitely gave you an update every week. It was just, I didn't know if you were going to get it on Friday or Saturday or <laughs> lumped in with another video, but I'm proud of myself that I, I stuck it through and was able to provide updates for y'all. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Definitely drop me a comment down below. I am all ears. Y'all know I'm all ears to any any and all suggestions, um, ex maybe experiences that you've had going from like diet to diet. I mean, I definitely have experience. Y'all know I switched from keto to low carb last year, actually around this time last year. Um, but you know, I, I also enjoy picking your guys' brains and reading your comments. So let a girl know. And I will see you guys on Monday. I have all, well, I don't have them all edited, but I have them all like filmed and practically ready to go. Um, my four videos that are going to go up while I'm gone. So you'll be getting pre-recorded content um, next week. Um, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the following Monday. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys on Monday. I'm not sure exactly sure. Oh, I think it's going to be my packing, like my pack with me or I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm calling it because I'm not actually packing. I'm just like showing you guys what I'm going to pack. Um, but that, that will be going up Monday. And then I'm not sure about the other days, um, what order I'm going to have everything go up in. So Stay tuned Monday for a what I'm taking to Hawaii video. All right, friends. See you then.